Thanks for joining me again for those who are new to the channel. This is my wonderful garage full of cheap, economical sort of machines. And it's always the case I find that there's a, there's a tool out there, there's a machine out there, there's a power tool out there, but it's never quite what you want. We are again with a bit of a Wessex project. This is a sort of crazy esque man in the shed stuff you fancy following and make sure you hit the old subscribe button in whatever weird corner it is because I've got the camera button for you know. Now that'll fit on a circular saw. Nice. What I've got to do is mount it in the uh, Black & Decker work mate, uh, horizontally, and then tip it up the other way. So, the sort of effort I've got is, let's move these out of the way a minute. I need an aircraft hanger, guys. I, I, garage is not big enough, so if I wanted to get that down through the middle, that should be in frame. I could rest that on there, hold that. <clears throat> and it really okay, that's in there. Then lift that. Hold that like that, and move that round there like that. So there's that. Miss the handles, because the body of the thing and the brake, it's the damn handles. So come underneath the handles. We got up. All right, try that. You still can wield it with one hand, it's not that heavy. go through over the saw or the planer. Oh that lovely wood. <laughs> so now only the chainsaw was mounted horizontally. They, they call them things um a, mil a million chainsaw or something, or a fortune, and you just you just like section up your thing, your your wood at the right thicknesses. So <clears throat> I've had to wait until they, uh, they got this on offer just to get these logs down the size. <laughs> How much more would it be to have a simple workmate effect with a side-mounted chainsaw? And you could already girdy up, up or down the chainsaw. If that's 40, we could that be 100 quid. Really?
Anyway, wire chainsaw and axe does not go through this wood. There's way too many knots. I axed that, that took, must have been eight, nearly ten minutes to get through that. Just bang, bang, bang. So, quicker, easier, use a chainsaw. It's just way too many branches, the limbs come out the side. Axe is not going through that. Absolute not see. it after this pass. Beautiful. Oh, no spider. Go somewhere else. Lovely. So anyway, this at the moment is 20% off in screw fix, and I've been trying to axe these things apart. Um, ever since my buddy dropped them off, which is, could be you know, eight, ten months ago. Um, so it got to a point when it won't fit through the circular saw because it's too thick for the blade. Um, I can't planer thickness her and skim it off, it'll just take forever. Um, using a panel saw was too much time. It's, it's crazy. So I waited and bide me time as ever, patience of Job. And this is only £39, so I put it on the books and I've got myself a, a processing tool now. So if anybody's able to drop off a nice piece of wood, um, we can section it down.
So quality range, ranges from it's pretty much perfect to it's just beginning to go like that. So at least I can get one scale out of there. So I can get one scale out of that. Reasonable. Sliver. So you start to got a shake there. I got all the rest of that that works. That you lose because it's the uh, the actual edge. A straight cut across the end of there. I should be able to get all of that. Right, brief uh, pause. So now I've planed them down to a uniform thickness. I got the last couple of passes on this one. You can see I, I got some um, nice area there. I should be able to get two little scales out about there as the it's just lost itself either end. So I, I got that much to work with. Uh, a couple more passes do this and then I'm sectioning up all of these into pairs and then you'll see what I started with and what's uh, basically waste. So, another little clue as to behind the scenes, Wessex blades, and uh, of course these will be um, taped up uh, and labelled as um, seasoned plum. 
Oh, the thing's just got to 10 minutes, so I'll start and stop and see it's before it um, got a 10 minute limit on the, the data. So, these will be taped up, labelled as seasoned plum. Uh, so when I come to grab it, uh, whenever I need to for stabilisation, I don't know what I've got. Um, the many benefits are section up, I can see what I've got wood wise as opposed to uh, nondescript logs in the in the garage or, or upstairs in the in the seasoning area, which is sort of an airing cupboard. Um, uh, it reduces the volume a lot, so I've got more space to fill it up with more logs. Um, and of course then it'll see the air gets to it and helps season and dry it just a slightly better uh, rather than it being stuck in a, in a log. Because what happens a lot of the times is it'll over split um, or fall away. So these now uh, got the last little chance to dry out as well as they can in the air. And then when I come to grab it I'll put it in the oven and then stabilise them. So I've got these all now sort of paired up. There's some very interesting shapes in this but they all need stabilising uh, just to arrest uh, the sort of uh, sporty effect that's going on inside the plum. Uh, we've got some beautiful looking sections there that need to be coming through over the next so many decades I suppose and years of Wessex Blades. So thanks for joining me again if it's the sort of thing that you're interested in watching uh, sort of behind the scenes also give me a thumbs up if you're new to the channel and hit the subscribe and the bell and the it's, it's getting daft now to be quite honest the um, subscriptions you're not really getting notifications if you tick the bell notifications you still end up having to just drop by the channel every now and again so I hope you keep joining me it may be to the point of uh, when I do filming I end up only publishing at a more regular time so a bit like a TV sort of channel you tune into Wessex at 7 on a Wednesday or something or other because uh, everybody else is like hitting Friday, so I might choose a, a day in a week. I might try that uh, just to get you to know when a more regular sort of programming effect comes up. Um, but there's also the Patreon channel, if I can make a mention of that, um, where a lot of stuff like this will have more uh, in depth uh, footage and uh, you can keep up with uh, stuff that's happening a little bit more current. Uh, it's because they get a sneak peek of things now and again and that starts at a dollar a month um, for access to all the videos that I put up to Patreon um, and then if you're if you're actually able to support me uh, on a higher tier when it gets to higher levels you're actually put into a draw uh, the prize of which more than um, knocks back what the additional uh, support payment might be um, the, the big fair odds, I mean they're, they're sort of 30 something quids worth, 40 pounds worth of, of prize I'm offering up. Um, turned handles and I did a knife last week which I charge at 80 pound. Um, so if that's the sort of thing and you feel like you can uh, support the channel, help me uh, sort of fund things behind the scenes, um, you know, going out and about, um, yeah, it would be greatly appreciated. So, Scott Wish Blades, thanks for coming me again.